What's up guys? I know it's been a while since I've done a layout update, but what I'm planning on doing is actually taking this whole thing down. And it'll only take me about two days to take all this down. As you can see down here, I've already been taking up some of the tracks. They, they come up super easy. But what I plan on doing is, if you've watched my videos in the past, this area is nice. It's nice and big. And then that back corner is kind of scrunched in there. Horseshoe curve is not even accurate because the grade is going down on the far side and this side the gr it doesn't start going up grade till there I want the whole part of horseshoe curve the whole curve going up grade so I want to get that more accurate um, this won't cut into operating like I plan on doing some operating sessions and I think I said that a year ago but I never got around to it but this will work much better for operations when I take stuff down. Uh, there's a few ideas I'm going over right now, and I'll explain them in a minute. But first, this is my new engine. It's a PRR E7A. It's got uh, three axles in the front, three axles in the back. It's by Bachman. It's a pretty nice one, and I'll just go through some of the sounds. The bell is nice, it's nice and slow, it's not real fast. I can adjust that anyways. Not sure if I want to adjust the horn, I don't remember if that's the correct horn for those or not, but, but I'll have to figure that out. But anyways, uh, as you can see I've been, well, not on that paper, but I've been drawing up ideas and basically the idea is horseshoe curve will go around the pit so it'll go down and around and it'll be a nice big horseshoe curve it'll be really nice and then i thought about having the altuna yard along this wall or possibly down there i'm not sure whether or not i'll actually do that but another idea i had is basically keeping the layout the same but improving it once i take it down so that'll be horseshoe curve I'll close the pit in about a foot to about there so you'll come around here and you go upgrade and you'll go through horseshoe curve you come along the front you'll come out here this will be the Galitz and tunnels you go along the back wall around to Pittsburgh Pittsburgh will be up there and it'll continue to go upgrade the whole way which is accurate until Galitz and in real life it goes downhill after Galitz and but It'll continue to go upgrade to that corner at about 15 inches, maybe a foot and a half, I'm not really sure. Um, and then Tyrone will be underneath it, because I, like uh, I like the idea of having a, a two levels, but I don't want to have to put a helix in, because that just is a waste of running time to me. So just having it constantly go upgrade helps, because then I can stack two uh industry or two towns on top of each other so out of tyrone you'll come underneath galitzin you come along the front and then this will be altoona and altoona will come into here and go around and up the horseshoe curve and then uh i'll have room for basically anything in here like a coal mine uh pretty much anything i want although i'm not I'm not sure what I want to put because in Horseshoe Curve in real life, you know, it's just the uh, Altoona Lake. There's no industries, so I'd kind of like to get it accurate. But anyway, that's why I haven't been doing any updates yet again. It's because I've been working on uh, figuring out what I want to do with the layout. And I've been packing stuff up so that this is easier to take down. As you notice, I don't have basically any freight cars up right now. But once I do get started on this it will not take very long to do um i plan on having this back up within a month up and running in a month so uh today is april 11th so basically by may 15th this should be up and running again so it won't be a real long turnaround to get this back up and running and hopefully i can find my camera software because for now, I can't use my good camera without my camera software, so I'm stuck using my phone to record things, so it's not as good quality. But anyways, that's it for this update, and the next update will be 
uh, when I take the whole layout down and I'll show maybe more of my plans. I still kind of have to figure them out a little bit, but uh, that's it for today.